Aloha YouTube, it's Neandrea bringing you guys another video. And this is going to be my top three. My top three predictions for what the heck side deck cards are going to be the most prevalent come the next YCS event and the next series of regionals. I would have to say, in no particular order, but the top three cards you're probably going to see in people's side decks uh, for coming the next YCS and regionals is you're going to see cards that stop people from adding stuff to their hands like Mistake, Thunder King Ryo um, or that like plus you when they add their hands like Shared Ride so basically Shared Ride, Mistake and Thunder King Ryo kind of get lumped together is uh, in kind of number three in cards you're going to be seeing a lot for against all the different matches because all the different a lot of the different decks right now do a lot of adding to the hand Shadals do a lot of adding to the hand Satellanites do a lot of adding to the hand Burning Abyss and Cleeforts all do a lot of adding to the hand in fact that shuts down in the case of Cleeforts that shuts down at least uh, about 25 30% of their deck so if they're not able to do their searching, it slows them down considerably. Number two uh, for cards you're going to see in a lot of people's side decks is cards that blow stuff up. I mean, you're going to see MSTs, you're going to see um, Fairies Winds, you're going to see Malcats, you're going to see uh, Dust Tornadoes, um, Spell Shattering Arrows, you're going to see... Um, oh, shoot, what are some other ones? Um, Artifact Ignition, Double Cyclone, uh, Typhoon, um, just to name a lot. Those are some of the, a lot of cards you're going to see in side decks to deal with people's back row and then to deal with Cleeforts, um, <laughs> I guess you could call them side row, where they put their um, Pendulum Monsters, getting rid of all that stuff. You get rid of all that stuff, they're kind of going to be screwed over. So, you're, I mean, basically cards that destroy stuff or that negate stuff, you're going to see a lot of. Um, I could pretend, I could actually see, um, since Pendulum Monsters, when they're in the Pendulum Zones, act as spells, you could see Spell Canceler coming back and seeing more play. Um, because it negates spells. And you see Jinzo coming back because he negates trap cards. So you get those two on the field, you're doing pretty good. Cards that negate special summons um, also can be kind of lumped in with destruction because they destroy the monsters. But um, I'm going to save those for another thing. So, I mean, basically cards that negate stuff or destroy back row are going to be huge in the side. And then number one are things to deal with the monsters themselves. There's already a lot of cards that get mained, but you see a lot of, card, a lot of extra cards getting sided. Solemn... Oh, shoot, what's the new Solemn card? The new Solemn Judgment card. Um, Solemn... Oh, shoot, I forget its second name. I want to say Solemn... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm spacing on his name. Uh, but you guys know the new one. Pay 3,000 life points, negate a summon. Um, I can see that doing really good. You can see... Um, uh, let's see. Space Time Trap Hole. Bottomless Trap Hole. Compulse. Um, Deep Dark Trap Hole. Um, Darkfall, just to name a few cards that are you can will see more play, and will deal with the opponents summoning the monsters, getting rid of the stuff, um, or even just normal trap hole for when in the case of Cleeforts when they just normal summon themselves without tribute, trap hole gets rid of them, and you have that in combination with Macrocosmos or Dimensional Fissure. And that really hurts them big time, considering the ruling being, so far anyways, that in the Clee Fort, even though normally when they leave the field, or the Pendulum Zone, they go to the top of the extra deck. But, according to some things I've been reading and seeing, that if you have Macrocosmos or Dimensional Fissure on the field, instead they do get banished when they leave the field, instead of going to the extra deck. Um, but that could be wrong. I'm not 100% on that, so don't quote me on that. Plus, certain archetype... Uh, da, 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 da. I'm getting off topic. But yeah, that's basically just some of the different classes of cards, I guess you could say, 
that are going to be my top three for in people's side decks. It, it, sorry it's not individual cards, but because it's more classes of cards. Cards that can be lumped together. Where you have stuff that prevents stuff from being added to the hand. Stuff that prevents, or that either destroys back row or negates back row. And side row in the case of the pendulums. And the actual summoning monster destruction or monster removal. Um, those are all key, key features that are going to help in these various matchups against all the different things. And you're going to see all the all these cards and more at the various regional scenes coming up and YCS Anaheim. If you guys have a... I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Let's see this video get at least 10 likes or 10 dislikes or both. <laughs> 10 likes and 10 dislikes. That'd be kind of cool. Because <laughs> I love my trolls. Trollios. Um, but I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts. What your top three cards or class of car types of cards um, or groupings of cards that you're gonna see that you think you'll see a lot of and people's side decks let me know in the comment section below and peace out YouTube